Another lazy afternoon. The clouds are third and gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out. Don't lose your youth. I can stay inside and tap away inside. Magic in the world around me. Now I often get so tired. It's harder just to be fascinated, breathing free. But I can hear raindrops tap dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out. Don't lose your youth, 'cause I can stay inside and tap away inside. I don't care today what the neighbors might say. Put on my rain boots, my favorite chiffon dress. I don't care today what the neighbors might say. It is now March 25th, and today we're taking Miss Ellie to get spayed, and she's gonna be staying over for two nights at the vets. But you are gonna get spayed. She's not too sad. Today, just a little less Monday. Oh, I can stay inside and type away. Say, oh, take today. Oh, there's in it the rain. Yeah. in two days. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. And I'll see you soon. I love you, girl.
yummy gummy and banana split. All right, it is now Monday and Ellie is back home and as you can see, Ollie is super excited to see her. And this will be the setup for this week. Well, it was supposed to be for this week, but you'll see in a moment that I decided to change it because Ellie couldn't contain herself. So we have her water bowl, we have some nice comfy rugs, a hidey house that she can't climb on, and there she is, all comfy. So this is what I came up with for the day. I decided to put up the playpen on this side so she can't jump onto high furniture like those litter boxes because I don't want her jumping on it and I wanted her stitches to heal. I do not want it to tear. So I have this low litter box where she could just walk into and use the bathroom, eat her hay. As soon as she got home, after she took a quick nap, Ellie was very eager to get out. She was just very determined to get out, scratching the playpen. Even the vet said when she was awake, she was being sassy. So I decided to call the vet and I asked if it's okay if she can roam around and be with Ollie. And he said, yeah, as long as she doesn't jump on high furniture, she'll be fine because we just don't want her to tear. And I was a little more comfortable doing this because she was already at the vet for three days and this is basically her fourth day of healing. So during the daytime, I would barricade the litter box so Ellie could be more comfortable and be with Ollie. And during the nighttime, I would put the playpen back together so she'll sleep in there because I can't monitor her at night. And during the morning, she'll be out again. So that way, she'll be more comfortable. And for the week, Ellie and Ollie would use that low litter box. So now it's dinner time and they're enjoying their veggies. They're always so excited and it makes me really happy. So I finally removed the gate and Ellie and Ollie ran straight to each other and started snuggling just like this. And it was so stinking cute. Like I can tell they missed each other so much. I just love their bond. They're literally soulmates and I love that. Oh, so cute. Alright, so I had to start the day by giving Ellie some medicine and I'm giving her 0 0.15 milliliters and I have to do this for 3 to 5 days. Alright, so squeeze out.
I was actually very surprised when I had to give Ellie her medication. I was expecting that I had to put her on the table and have someone hold her while I give her her medicine. Because with Ollie, after he was neutered, I was giving him his medication, he was fighting for his life. He did not want it at all. Even when we had someone holding him, he was just like not having it. So that's what I was expecting. But Ellie is like a princess. She took it like a champ and she sometimes thought it was like a treat for her and wanted more. So I was really surprised. So I guess it tasted yummy to her. On day three, I decided to remove the playpen so she wouldn't have to sleep there at night anymore. And I just specifically barricaded the in two litter boxes until the following week. So basically a full two weeks until I felt more confident with her stitches healing. And Ellie and Ollie just shared that walk-in litter box that I got from Ikea for the remaining week. And after two weeks, their setup was back to normal. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Ellie stayed at the vet for an extra night because they were closed on Sunday, so I had to pick her up on Monday. So she got her medication for three nights already, and when you bring your bunny home, you're supposed to give your bun the pain medication for another three to five days. But since she stayed an extra night, I decided to give her the medication until the fourth day. Even though she seemed like herself by day two, you never know. Because bunnies tend to hide their pain really well. <laughs> so I just did it just in case to make her feel more comfortable. Good girl. For tonight's dinner, I thought they would enjoy some greens from my container garden that I'm doing. So I got some romaine lettuce, green leaf lettuce, and some cilantro with bit of carrot tops and i hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one